Everybody, I'm Lily Rose and welcome to a new Do It Yourself video. How are you guys? I just finished the first semester of my masters and oh gosh, what a stressful time! And you know what made my days a little bit better? Crunching my nails into some super cute squishies. There is something about it that makes you just feel so blissful, even if just for a minute. So how about making some squishy phone cases, that way you always have them with you. And well, that's what we're gonna do today. But before we get to the video, as always, I hope you guys leave me a thumbs up and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And now, let's start. First case is super easy since we will be using a bot squishy. These are super cheap and you can basically find them everywhere and they have the perfect consistency. I've seen some videos on how to make these, but let's be real, it's really not worth it. You can only find the material in Japan and it's a little bit expensive. So to make a phone case, what I recommend is just buy a set really cheap on eBay or Amazon. Link is as always in the description box below. Now just glue your squishy cat, or whatever it is, to your phone case. Since I wanted to give it something extra, I used some neon pink nail polish to create some paws. I couldn't find any of my dotting tools, so I had to improvise a little bit and just use the back of a brush to create three dots in a circle that overlap in the middle. That will be the center of the paw. Do a bunch of them around the phone case. Now, again with a smaller dotting tool, or like me with the bobby pin, create little paw fingers. I don't understand anything about cats, how do you even call those? But I think you know what I mean. By the way, if any of you want a squishy, leave me a comment below and I'll send a bunch of them out because to be honest, I bought so many and I really don't need them. <laughs> Just write in the comments below which one is your favorite phone case and yeah, maybe soon you'll have your own little squishy in the mailbox. Next up, this cute Oreo squishy pop socket. I'm not kidding, it works so well as a pop socket. It gives you extra grip and keeps your phone up when you're watching videos. And funny enough, this wasn't even part of the original idea, but it does a job so well that I thought I have to mention it. First off, you will need some round makeup sponges. If possible, get some with the rounded edge. It's not a must, but it helps the whole thing look like a real Oreo. If you find these in black, lucky you, I didn't, so I just painted them with some acrylic paint. Just rub the color into the sponge and squeeze out any excess. If you let too much paint in the sponge, it will make it kinda stiff and we want to avoid that. To create the famous Oreo design, simply use some black 3D puffy paint. Don't worry if you're like me and bad at drawing. The only part where I tried to stay true to the original was the word Oreo in the middle and the edges. And it's not like I even had any space left for more details, so I hope you kinda get it's an Oreo. If anything fails,
details, don't worry, and just clean it up in the end with a toothpick or a paper clip like me. For the filling, you need again a round makeup sponge. If you find a white one that fits perfectly into the middle, use that, it's so much easier. But if not, just use whatever sponge you have at home and cut it a little bit smaller than the other pieces. Now glue it into place. With white puffy paint, start filling in the sides to hide the sponge in the middle. By the way, not kidding, I felt like I was a pastry chef. If by mistake a little bit of white paint gets onto your Oreo, just clean it up with a little bit of acrylic paint. Same goes for the edges of the white filling. Just clean them up with a little bit of acrylic paint. Add any last details, in my case it was the edge of the bottom part and you're done! Now simply glue it to your phone case. I like to keep this one simple, but you can totally add more details if you want. And lastly, the super cute and funny fried egg squishy. This one is just so funny and trust me, people will notice it. And it helps so much getting that stress out before an exam or that terrible dentist appointment or whatever gets your stress levels up. First of all, we need to create the anti-stress squishy yolk part. For that, I created some slime by mixing glue with a little bit of baking soda. Up until now, all the glues that I've used always worked and they were never any expensive brand, just some off-brand ones. Now to create the slime, start adding some contact lens solution to the glue. By the way, the baking soda before is really important or there won't be a reaction with the contact solution. Keep adding the solution until the slime starts to form. Now wet your hands a little bit with the contact solution and start stretching the slime. It will start to become less sticky and more slimy. Does that make any sense? Next, you need a good and strong yellow balloon. Get the slime into the balloon using a funnel or just cut the top of a plastic bottle. Don't add too much slime and keep testing it on your phone case. Me being the dummy that I am, added too much and in the end had to take a bunch of it out. Make a secure knot and cut off the excess balloon. Now to the egg white. For this, I use some white Fimo clay, so it's extra durable. Create whatever shape that you want, but make sure it's big enough for your egg yolk. Now bake it, keeping in mind the instructions on the packaging. However, don't trust them blindly. I baked it according to the instructions, first 30 minutes, then 20, and both times, as you can see, it kinda turned into this weird orange-brown color. I just couldn't understand what I was doing wrong because I was following the instructions, but the third time I only left it about 10 minutes, maybe even a little bit less, and kept just checking on it, and yeah, it turned out great. So my advice is keep an eye on it and just use your best judgement. Now get some really, really, really strong glue. 
Put some glue on the bottom side of the egg yolk and glue it to the egg white. Get something heavy to put on top of it so the egg yolk dries flat and creates a typical fried egg shape. Let it dry overnight just to make sure and the next day you should have something like this. A squishy fried egg. Now just glue it to your phone case and you're done! As I asked before, which one is your favorite phone case? Let me know in the comments below and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I certainly did and I feel a lot more blissful and zen. <laughs> I hope you guys leave me a thumbs up and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and I see you next time. Bye!